Welcome to installing Pixel Fudger for beginners. So here I have downloaded my Pixel Fudger files from pixelfudger.com or from nukepedia.com. I've unzipped the file and now I have three things. I have a folder with all the gizmos in it. I have a readme file and an init.py file. The challenge for beginners when installing a gizmo is to locate their home directory or more precisely their .nuke directory in their home directory. Instructions to do that are uh, included in the readme file here, so let's have a look. So first we need to locate our home.nuke directory. Most uh, operating systems will hide files that begin with a period or a dot, so that's why most beginners have a hard time finding their .nuke directory. So on Windows, to find your .nuke directory, you need to open the run dialog with Windows R as a hotkey. This is the run dialog and you can copy and paste the string here, percent user profile backslash dot nuke. So I'm gonna copy this and it's already in here, but let's say it wasn't, you would do paste and now you're ready to go. Hit okay and a new file explorer opens and I'm already in the right directory. I'm in C users Xavier .nuke, which is where my .nuke is located. Yours might be in a different directory, but the shortcut will bring you to the right path uh, all the time. So this is where we will install um, the pixel fudger files. Let's have a look on how to do this on Linux. So here I am on uh, Fedora Linux. So I need to uh, do the same thing. I need to locate my um, home.nuke directory. I've downloaded and unzipped the pixel fudger file once more and I have the instructions. I'm going to double click to open it in a text editor and here I have the instructions for Linux. So it says to open a terminal, uh, whatever you do to open a terminal. I do uh, Windows A or Super A and type terminal and in the terminal I'm going to run this command here xdg opened uh, tilde slash dot nuke. So tilde means your home directory. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. So tilde is the little squiggly line. Hit enter to run the command. And I have a new file, a browser, a Nautilus browser in my case, that's already in my home directory in slash dot nuke. And I have the stuff here that uh, nuke is storing in there like preferences file. So now I can close the text document here and I have my pixel fudger directory and my home.nuke directory ready to install. All right, now I'm here on Mac. So I've downloaded and unzipped the pixel fudger files here. I'm in the finder, uh, of course. So I have the instructions, let's open them. So it says to go in the finder and to use the go to folder command to open the tilde.nuke directory. So let's copy that path here. I'm going to right click, copy, close the instructions, go back in the finder, open a new window, file new finder window, and then go, go to folder or command shift G. And here I can paste my path go and now my finder window is in my dot nuke directory so if I look here I have my dot nuke open and I have my pixel fudger files open and I'm ready to install all right we're back on Windows here but the same thing applies to all three OS's at this stage so I have my pixel fudger files here I have my home dot nuke directory here on another window and I need to copy pixel fudger 3 which contains all the gizmos and init.py in my home.nuke. Notice I do not have an init.py file already. If I did, I don't want to copy this one over and overwrite my init.py. I do not have an init.py now, so I can just copy those two things, the, the folder with pixel fudger 3 and init.py. So I'm going to control click to select them both. Right click, copy, and paste. Here we go. 
and now I have both uh, init.py and pixel fudger 3 in my home.nuke directory and I can launch nuke and you will see pixel fudger should be in there. So if I did have an init.py already in my .nuke, I don't want to overwrite it with the init.py that was provided with the pixel fudger zip file. So I just want to copy the pixel fudger 3 files in my uh, .nuke directory. So let's do that. Uh, I'm going to copy the folder here and paste it in my .nuke. And because I already have an init.py, I can't overwrite it with the one provided. I need to edit that file myself. So to do that, it's just a text file. You can open it in any text editor. You can open it with a notepad. I like to use Sublime Text on Windows. You can use Text Edit on Mac, Gedit on, Win on Linux. It doesn't matter. It's just a regular text file. So let's open that text file here. I've got my init.py open and I need to add an extra line to point nuke towards my pixel fudger three installation. If you're not sure how to do that, there's instructions in the install uh, guide here. So if we go here towards the bottom, it says to add the line import nuke. That line is already in my init.py up here. So I don't need to add that. And it says, to uh, add the line nuke plugin add pass pixel fudger 3. So this will point nuke to the pixel fudger 3 directory in my dot nuke. So I'm just going to copy this line and add it to my existing init.py like so. And that's all you have to do if you never had a pixel fudger installation you're done save the init file and launch nuke and you're ready to go if you already had a pixel fudger installation like me here you need to remove the old installation so so the first thing i need to do is to remove the old uh, pixel fudger directory from my uh, new plugin path so i'm going to remove that line from my init.py here. So I'm gonna delete that line. So now only pixel fudger three is added to my plugin path. I'm gonna save my init.py, control S, and I'm gonna close my text editor. The other thing I need to do is to uh, edit my menu.py. So if you have a previous installation of pixel fudger, in older versions of Pic pixel fudger, you needed to have both a line in init and menu.py. This is not the case anymore for pixel fudger 3. So let's edit our old menu.py here. Again, this is a text file. I'm going to open it with a text editor. Here I have a menu.py with a bunch of customizations for uh, knob defaults and so on. And at the very top here, I have a line that says import pixel fudger. This is for the old version of pixel fudger. I do not need this anymore. So I'm going to select the line and remove it save the file, control S and close my text editor. Finally, I have a an old pixel fudger installation here. I don't need it anymore because all the tools from the old version are available in the new pixel fudger three version. So I can remove that folder from my dot new directory. So I'm just going to uh, delete that and send it to the recycle bin. Here we go. So now uh, in a nutshell, I have pixel fudger three with all the gizmos. I have my init.py that includes the uh, new plugin ad pass pixel fudger three. And I have my menu.py that only has my uh, personal stuff. I don't need anything in menu.py for pixel fudger anymore. Now we're ready to test our installation. So here I've just launched Nuke to confirm that uh, everything is working. So you can see in my nodes menu here, I've got the Pixel Fudger 3 uh, icon. If I click on it, I've got all the stuff in here. I can ver verify the version with about Pixel Fudger and it should say Pixel Fudger 3.0. And if I take a tool at random here like Bandpass, it creates the node and I can see all the stuff is working. So I'm happy with my pixel fudger installation. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.